Hi, this is Seamus Gallico. I'm here to do a wee celebration thing on the second anniversary of the magnificent Susan Toy in Canada, who has been such a wonderful supporter to myself and literally hundreds of other authors over not only the last two years, while her reader's recommendation blog's been going, but well before that. Susan is already herself an accomplished authoress, but she still finds the time to support all the rest of us geezers. So here's a wee poem that I've stolen a bit from Robert W. Service. You may know him as the guy who did the shooting of Dan McGrew. So we're in that idiom, and being that she's from the cold north, literally speaking, in Canada, this probably suits anyway. So here goes. The lady we all know as Sue, with apologies, as said to Robert W. Service. A bunch of the boys were reading it up in the Bequai Book Saloon. The kid that handles the old sales till was selling like a mad baboon. Back of the store with a kindle fire sat the lady that's known as Sue. When out of the night, which was thirty, you know, and into the book stack ceiling to floor, there stumbled a writer fresh from his mac, dog-eared and looking for more. He looked like a tramp with hardly a dime and scarcely the price of a cup. Yet he glanced at one novel and reached out his hand, and gingerly he picked it up. There was none could place the stranger's face, with bookmarks hanging out of his shoe. But we cleared him some space, and the last to clear, with the lady known as Sue. There are scribblers that somehow hold your gaze, and grip so hard you can tell, that here was a lad, from wherever he came, had been to the library of hell. With kind of a squint, and the stare of a monk, whose hands had typed far too much, as he read through the book in a wee ingle nook, and his face would twitch just a touch. Then I got wondering just who he might be, and even what he might do, and I turned my head, and there, looking at him, was the lady that's known as Sue. His eyes kept coming back to the tome, the one he held in his mitt, till at last the dust on the fly cover leaf cleared for all to decipher it. And he started to read the lines on the scan like nobody else could have done. With a drawl and a twang, my God, these words sang in a voice that wavered and honed. Were you ever listed in the great Amazon at the mercy of the wolves called reviews? And you waited daily for word of your sales or heard it on Smashwords list news? With only the hope of a turning of phrase that delighted you first time you wrote, a half-dead zombie could breathe more than you when the two-star reviewer clawed at your throat. That, my boys, that was the look flipping across this forlorn guy's face, an author of sorts respected by some, still searching for a bestseller place. Then all of a sudden that poor scribbler turned, the eyes darting forth from the boy, and a stare stopped dead in its tracks at the lady we all know as Ty. He held out his hand and offered the book with a whimper that came from the heart. Please, he croaked, a review from you will give me that much-needed start. The room fell more quiet and we all held our breath, waiting to see what she'd say. She skimmed through his book, for indeed it was his, and absorbed him in a strange kind of way. Then a smile crossed her face and she nodded at him with the wisdom of someone who knew and the tears in his face retreated a pace, and smiled back at the lady called Sue. Of course I'll give it a read, that man, said she, and I'll see about some commendations. And sooner or later we all understood. It'll be on recommendations. So lift a glass or two, three or more, for these couple of years now gone through, and acknowledge the love and assistance we have had from the lady we all know as Sue. Thanks, Sue.